Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera here. We're out doing all of our morning chores as we do every single morning. No two days are the same, but we thought we would take you along with some of our chores that we do every day. We've come out to the barn. We've started feeding the chickens. We've already fed the goats in their stall, which I'll show you what I feed them here in just a second. And of course, Cochise, because it's easier to get them fed first and get them settled in because we got to work with the cows next and do a you know, milk her every morning. And then, of course, we feed the pigs and do the waters and check the ducks and redo the pool and all sorts of goodies. So we're going to take you along for the ride. I've already started pre-prepping for uh, to milk the cow. So I'm going to get her food ready, all of her feed, and I'll show you that in just a moment, and we'll get the day started. Okay, I feed her a non-GMO feed. But it has a 14% uh, ration in terms of protein. So I, I have started mixing in a little bit of a sweet feed for her because it's got a higher protein. The cow is uh, you know, obviously getting milk and you're milking her. You do want that um, good amount of protein. So I give her around five total scoops right now. It's really helped her with her weight, or her weight with the heat. And I also, of course, give her fresh hay. So I have her feed. And I always sprinkle in a little bit of DE because I think that's what keeps the animals so healthy. Now this down here, this non-GMO multi-species, you can see right here, that's what I feed my goats as well. I sprinkle in there um, some DE and I of course sprinkle in their minerals. So that's what we're doing right here. Always make sure I'm giving minerals to all my, uh, the cows and the livestock. So I just mix it in. We're going to go down to the stall. You can follow me there. I've already got her um, hay in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to milk her, okay? And then this little critter, you can show her right here. She's going to come in next. And you can tell that she's going to Get out of the way. Go, girl. Come on, Miss Belle. Excuse me. She's been outside all night. We keep her out overnight right now so that uh, we can milk her in the morning. This was my pressure spray and this is my iodine. Always spray her teeth it's really good. That. Oh, hang on a second. I know it's choppy, but this is what we do. Serious business. See, this girl over here is hungry. She's got to get in here. This is that Dr. Bronner soap. So I'm going to clean her teats really good. Get them nice and clean. Of course, they have that iodine on them. Yes, I'm hurrying, baby. So I always get this nice and clean. And that, it's really, really warm water. Not quite hot, but really warm. And then I use a dry towel. I finish drying it off because you'll still have some residue on there. You see that? You want to get that off. All right. And then I milk as fast as a girl can because when she finishes her feet up and gets into that hay, she wants that baby over here. Now I always give each teat a couple of good squirts first to get the bacteria out. Because you don't want that. First two or three squirts of each teat. And then we're just going to go at it. Can you see? I'm right now getting, um, I'm getting about a gallon every morning for us. It just depends. Um, basically because um, if she's restless or if there's a lot going on, the baby pretty much strips her down. If not, I come back and finish her off. Um, you want to get that milk out. You want to get the face of the towel. I mean, uh, her tail. That happens a lot. A lot, a lot. So I just alternate. The baby doesn't tend to... Um, drink as much from the back teats. 
So I have to really make sure I'm working it. We are milking twice a day. This one is really small, so I have to really curve my fingers that way. So we just do this for a few minutes, get about a gallon or so. It's, it just depends on the morning, really. Depends on how she is, depends on the weather. But since she's come back from being bred, we do believe she's bred. I know it's loud. Welcome to the farm. <laughs> um, but since we do believe she's been bred, we've upped her protein. She's got a lot of good grass and hay. She's produced, she, her milk has almost doubled. It's, and plus the baby's been taking a lot, so that helps keep her in milk. But uh, we certainly use this milk. We love it. It's so delicious. And uh, we're feeding the other animals. Cochise gets some every day. The pig, of course, gets raw milk. She loves the raw milk. Makes her really healthy baby. See, she's starting to shift a little bit. I don't sit. I tried sitting on a stool. But if she... But if she shifts, I can't, I don't, it, 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 it's too much. Uh, so I just stand here and squat until I, you know, on my knees, until I can move a lot faster. Less in the way. Each their own, each their own. She has not let down yet either. She's holding her milk back for baby. When she lets down, it's like Niagara Falls coming out. I mean, it's just amazing. So I try to get her started and get what I can get. And then when baby comes over in just a few minutes to get her morning milk, this is just going to flow. It's crazy. She's a good cow. Silly. Come on, we gotta get the pig ready. Come on. What'd you get into? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. You're more like a clown than a livestock guardian dog right now.
Babies won't eat hay this morning. We got a mess in here. It's going to almost be a gallon. All right. All right. Guys, we appreciate y'all coming along with us for the morning. We hope you got to see enough to kind of get an idea of some of the crazy stuff we do. We've come in. We've cooled off a little bit. We're starting to prepare to can today, and we're frying up some brunch because we had a we wanted some uh, sausage and uh, eggs as, as a late or early at lunch, and uh, just very hot day, and it's just a non-stop work on the, on the homestead. In fact, what we'll do is we will, uh, you know, go through the motion of starting our school lessons and getting the canning going and doing our morning chores and all of that. And then by that time, it'll be time to go back out again and check waters and maybe rotate a certain animal or bring in eggs. It's just an all-day affair. But we appreciate you all going along with us for the ride. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe. Um, check us out on Facebook. We have a page there. You can certainly see what we do every day on Facebook. We also are on Instagram and our blog. And It's time to can some more tomatoes. I'm going to get this going in the crock pot because it's time to can uh, vegetable soup. So we'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all take care out there.